have our lion completely drawn, outlined, and added texture, we need the following things. A paintbrush, a little bit of water, and three markers. A yellow, a blue, and a red. Now yellow, red, and blue are primary colors. That means most important or the first. You can't create yellow, red, or blue by mixing other colors. Now we're going to start with yellow because it is the lightest color and we have six areas but we need to be strategic about where we place our yellow. Above the right ear I'm going to start coloring yellow. I want you to take your time and with a yellow marker carefully without scribble scrabbling color in that shape with your yellow marker. Be careful to try to stay inside of the lines and to not color the lion's fur or ears. Our goal is to have color in his mane to create our color wheel. Now because yellow is the lightest, we want to go ahead and use it in two other places. So to the left and to the right. So the top three sections of our color wheel, we are going to color with the yellow marker. Now here is an artist tip with using markers. If you notice, I'm holding my marker and coloring on the side of the marker instead of using the tip of the marker. This will help our coloring go a little faster and make it look smoother and not filled with thin, thin lines. Try holding your marker at an angle when you color and see if you can feel the difference. All right, I have three spaces side by side by side colored yellow. The two top and the one on the right. Now I'm taking the red marker. And if you see where I'm pointing, the bottom two sections under the lion's chin chopper, that is what I'm going to color neatly and carefully with the red marker. I'm trying very hard not to get inside of the fur, inside of the body, or inside of his head. I'm trying hard to only color in the sections of the color wheel. Now once I have that section completed, I'm going to color the other bottom section with a red marker. I'm now going to take my red marker, I've got the bottom two colored, and I want that yellow space on the right, and I'm going to use my red marker to color over top. And it's okay for this project not to color it in completely. We want to see a little bit of yellow showing through. You will see why in just a moment. Now my final color is of course blue and it is the darkest. So that one section of our color wheel that is still blank, I'm going to color it neatly with my color blue marker. Remember, take your time. We don't want scribble scrabbles. And this is an excellent opportunity to practice holding your marker at an angle for good coloring. Now that I have my blue section colored, I need to color some blue on this one red section next to my blue section. And just like when I overlap the colors before, I want a little bit of red peeping through. 
And above that, next to the blue section, I'm going to use my blue marker again, and I'm going to add some blue on top of that one yellow section. Now that I have all sections colored with marker, I'm going to use a paintbrush and a little bit of water and I'm going to start painting water on top of the yellow section. And you'll discover that we're turning the marker that's on our paper into paint. Carefully brush over every area of the yellow section with water and go back and get more water if you need it. Once you're finished with yellow, move on to the red and yellow mixture and do the same thing. What color did you create? When you're finished with that one section and you've done it carefully and artistically, move on to the next section and work your way around the color wheel. What colors have you created by mixing our primary colors? Orange, purple, and green are called secondary colors because they're made by mixing two primaries. To finish off our color wheel lions, choose any color you wish from your marker collection and color the background. Add some water to turn it into paint. 